Whew, we are barefaced today and welcome on in y'all. <laughs> today we're gonna be playing with a bunch of elf makeup. I have everything for a full face here and then some. I have some new products I'm excited to try. The elf putty bronzer is really new. So I just placed a pretty big order but I also have a bunch of old favorites in front of me. We're gonna play with two. So we're gonna go through the best, the worst, my thoughts on them. Some of these are dupes for higher end products. I'll probably touch on that a little bit and we'll just chat and get ready together. So I've always said e.l.f. kind of has a special place in my heart because this is a brand that, you know, has pretty much always stayed in the less expensive realm and they've been making such great products for a long time. Most of this was purchased by me. I just placed a pretty big order, so I'm excited to just play. Also, my husband just hung up these floral prints I bought on Etsy a while ago and so I'm kind of starting to finally feel that my background's feeling a little more complete and that is exciting. First thing, oh, lip balm, first thing. So I actually do quite like their little ride or die lip balms. I have two of them. I have grapefruit, I can't say that, grapefruit goals and just peachy and they're both great. It's a sheer balm, but they each have like a little bit of a tint. So this one's a little bit kind of pinky. It's again, once you kind of have it on the lips, it's not super obvious. I always say it's a nice little purse lippy because you're not gonna be worried about it. You can put it on without a mirror. I don't even know that I can necessarily pick a favorite. One thing to know about these is though, let me take a sip of my coffee. I'm struggling with words right now. So hot, so hot. I feel like my dad growing up has to like, he has to just be calloused on the tongue, like no more taste buds because all of my childhood when I was like old enough to, he'd be like, Jessica, will you go refill this cup of coffee? And I'd refill it straight out of the pot, scorching hot, and he'd take it and drink it straight away. And I'm like, and now I find myself like way too impatient to wait and then I do the same thing to myself. I'm gonna have no taste buds when I'm older. Anyway, so the thing to know about these two is that they are a little bit thicker. It doesn't bother me so much, but it is a little bit different than a lot of other lip balms I've tried. All right, so I'm already like SPF'd and stuff, and I have been dying to try this. I've heard my buddy here on YouTube, Taylor Wynn, talk about this. It's the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. It says it's unique jelly texture, works like glue to grip makeup to ensure it stays put. I think this is meant to be kind of a similar product to the Milk Hydro Grip. So we will see. I wasn't a big fan of that, so I already kind of know going into this, there's a chance I won't like it just because of what I tend to like in a primer. However, I also have really moved away from using much primer because I'm always using like a glowy SPF that serves as a glowy primer. But sometimes it is kind of nice to have a primer that actually like does something, whether it fills in your pores or whether it grips. So that's what we're gonna be playing with today. It smells slightly spearminty. It definitely feels sticky. Okay, this is gonna be the most specific example, but do you guys remember those uh, weird like jelly things that were candy that you would like squeeze into your mouth and they were like sour and gross. Like they look like they were in a toothpaste tube. Uh, that That is like the consistency of this, maybe a little thinner. So I'm not gonna use too, too much, just like one squirt. And I think I'm just gonna press it in because I want there to be enough in those regions to really like grip onto the makeup, especially on my nose. I feel like you wake up and you literally look in the mirror and you're like, that's a new, that's a new line on my face. I feel like I'm really, these are like really prominently coming in today. Was I like grimacing in my sleep a bunch? <laughs> Is that what you call grimacing? I feel like that's not the right word. <laughs> so I don't feel the cooling property to it, but it does specifically say to wait 30 seconds before applying makeup, probably so that it doesn't pill up or anything like that. So. So far so good, we'll see how it performs. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So this is something I have had for a while and I have thoughts. I really like the way this looks when I apply it, but it just doesn't wear off nicely. So I just feel like in those regions where things typically wear off on me in the middle of my face because I'm just always touching it, it just doesn't look pretty as it wears off. Whereas I feel like there's a lot of other products that do look a little nicer as they wear off because inevitably makeup's gonna slowly wear off your face, you know? Um, so A, I'm hoping this primer helps with that, but this is definitely one that I feel like you either need to reapply or kind of touch up midway through your day, or if you're just using it like for the latter half of the day, then that works. It's gonna last as long as you need it. But I do feel like that's important to say because I hadn't really realized that about this until like a couple months into using it. So I'm gonna try the shade 150C. I feel like that'll be kind of close. I have like self tan wearing off at this point. So my skin is just like 18 different shades. This definitely has more coverage than you would think when you hear the term CC cream. It, it really does. So. <laughs> It is not a tinted moisturizer or anything like that. Like it really does have 
some nice coverage. I'm starting to look like Uncle Fester. <laughs> I asked my daughter, who is three, by the way, if you are like new here, you just popped in to watch this video. I hope you'll subscribe, stick around. I do a lot of uh, drugstore makeup stuff here, but uh, I asked her what she wanted to be for Halloween. It's literally July when I'm filming this, but I asked her anyway, and she said, a witch. <laughs> I was like, why do you even know what a witch is? That's what she wants to be. And I'm thinking, oh girl, I will totally paint your face green if you want me to, that'd be so fun. But like, what does she picture in her head when she thinks of a witch? You know what I mean? Like, is she picturing like a green witch? With this product, I do always feel like I need a little bit more on my nose and usually whatever's left, I'll just like dab in the other areas of my face. But my nose is always my thing. You know, like, do you have a place on your face that you always feel like you need more coverage? For me, it will always be my nose. So not the most perfect shade match right now, but it's, it's not terrible, you know. All right, so this, I think this is meant to be a dupe for like the YSL Touche Claw concealer. I actually currently own that. I recently tried it in a video again. Kind of like retrying old cult favorites that have like, like where are they now? You know what I mean? I, I'll link that video if you want to see it. It was really fun. Uh, so I recently retried that. So I'm curious to see if this is really a dupe for it. And I do have plans in the next few weeks to make my next dupes video. So subscribe, stay tuned because I put a lot of work into finding amazing dupes. And the list right now that I have of dupes is pretty good. So it's the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I think this is new. I got it in two different shades. I got light 26 in and light 23C. We're just gonna see. I'm literally buying all these online and I'm like, you know how it is. You're just like kind of guessing based on swatches. So that's 23C, that's 26N. I think I'm gonna go with this one today, but it's the same style of pen. And yeah, I'm just gonna see, it might be a little kind of yellow for me, at least in person, it's looking a little more yellow. Elf used to have like a concealer like this. Um, I don't know if it's the same thing, like slightly repackaged or if it's different. I remember thinking that one was okay. I feel like a lot of people like swore by it. And I remember being like, eh, let me use my fingers. Sometimes I feel like concealers like this that are a little bit like lightweight do a little better with your finger than they would maybe like a sponge or a brush. <laughs> I mean, that looks nice, right? I feel like the light's bouncing off it nicely. It covered pretty much everything I would like to cover. It blended in pretty easily. I can see where this probably is gonna sink into fine lines. Most concealers do, but some do it worse than others. I see you, Elf. Right. So one standby brow product from Elf I've loved for a long time is their Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It's it's pr a pretty standard retractable brow pencil, but it works really well. It's like $2. And if you can find a shade that works for you, I, I really genuinely love this. However, I've been wanting to try their Wow Brow. So I bought it in neutral brown. It says it's a volumizing fiber gel. It has a pretty small spoolie. It's not as small as some other ones I've used, but it is still, you know, small. I'm always a little nervous when you don't know how much pigment's gonna come out, you know? That was so fast and seeing it without and with, I mean that like combed my brows into place it doesn't feel crunchy. It added a little bit of color, but not too much. I have to say, it's really easy to work with. I have been loving the Benefit Gimme Brow. This might be slightly easier to use because it doesn't quite seem to give off as much pigment, which for some people you might want more, but if you're like me and you just want a little bit of like evening of the color, you want them brushed into place, you might really like this and really quick, Little side note, if you, I used to have really sparse light brows. That's how my brows had always been. And I considered doing a lot of things. I considered doing microblading and things like that. And I never did because I was too scared. And I started using a brow serum kind of on a whim. And after like two months of using that, my brows were like literally the way they look now. And I'm like, I can't believe it. So I am, I am a changed person. I actually believe that they work. But the one thing to note is when you use a serum like that and you get the results you like, you have to keep using it to keep the results. How did I get on that note? I don't know. Well, I guess my thing is I never used to be able to use brow products like this because I didn't have the brows that would work with it. Like it just wasn't, it didn't, it never worked. Now I can because of that. So I, I that's why it was on my mind. So let's maybe set this concealer. I'm gonna use a product from them I've been loving for a while, their Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have it in light pink. Uh, they have a couple different shades. This is just the one I had picked up a while ago and I've, I've really been enjoying it. And I'm just taking the Real Techniques little setting brush 
I'm just gonna set that area down. I feel like this is a really nice looser setting powder. Another one at the drugstore I really like is the Maybelline Fit Me. Sometimes that though, like if you get too much, you can really, like you can really get too much. This always seems to do like just the right amount. So nice and even, nice and set. All right, let's try this putty bronzer before we get into anything else on the face because I'm so curious. So I picked out two shades, the Feelin' Shady and the Tan Lines. The Feelin' Shady is definitely more of like a contour gray toned shade. It's supposed to look like a shadow, whereas this is more bronzy for my skin tone. Um, we can just try both and kind of see, maybe I'll just put this like in the hollows of my cheeks and then use the bronzer elsewhere. But I did buy their putty, it's their putty primer applicator, but I wanna try it with this because I think the idea is that it's supposed to be good with products like this. On it, you've got a little scoop if you wanted to scoop out, you know, like the primer, for example, and the brush feels really soft, so. And this is nice and dense too, though. With a product like this, you kinda almost need that. Yeah, that is quite a shadow shade. That's kinda nice. If you want a low key, especially for like a special event, and you really want that like sculpted, I can hear my makeup teacher from college saying, it was, it was stage makeup, because I went to school for like theater. And I can just hear her right now saying, you're not supposed to bring in your contour shadow farther than the edge of your brow, like right there. Um, that's why I was blending out any that I got there, like I can just hear, and that is really nice. It's a really natural grayish shade, you know? And this is applying really easily. It seems to be pretty forgiving. The answer may be in the brush you use though, because I do feel like there are just certain brushes that work well with certain types of products, and this is feeling really good. Digging that, that's just exciting. I feel like it is, I don't know that I've ever seen a drugstore true contour shade cream product. But let's try the tan line shade. This one definitely has a much warmer tone. Just kinda, so I'm just gonna kinda go over this with a little bit of bronze. That I'll take a little farther in just to bronze up the face. This is really looking nice. I feel like if you are someone that's intimidated by cream bronzer, this may be the answer. Get this and the brush because it's really making it easy to apply it evenly and it, you've got time to blend it in. Like it's, it's really easy to work with. I wasn't sure how I would feel trying this. I feel like it had been built up and so I was like, oh, I hope it's actually good, but I am kind of over the moon right now. So color me very excited. I was gonna say surprised. I'm not that surprised that I like it, but I really, this, these were so incredibly easy to work with. And of course they do have other shades in the bronzer depending on your skin tone. The tan line shade is going right in my makeup bag. Like that, that and that brush are just, that was amazing. So I have quite a few blushes from e.l.f. I love, I, they're putty blushes I like. I don't think they're my favorite cream blush formula ever, but they are really nice. And you know what? They last a really long time. Um, I also really like, especially in the fall, their face duo in Spiced Apple. It is one of the prettiest little duos. It's just, I usually will use this as a topper on top of this. Kind of a bronzer, like a bronzer shade, you know, a blush bronzer, at least for my skin tone, because it's got that peachy brown tint to it. And then another one that's new is their primer infused shimmer blush. So I've tried their primer blushes before. I like their primer infused uh, bronzer as well. Um, that's another one if you like powder bronzer instead of cream. I really like this. So the shade I picked up was always preppy and it's a nice like cool tone pink, which I don't own a lot of pinks like this. I own a lot of peaches and you know, a little bit more like rosy pinks, but not like so blue tone, almost purple. And I just thought it looked pretty. It definitely has a lot of pigment. Oh. I just feel like these colors can be so pretty and kind of unique and they just like catch the light beautifully. This does, there's no glitter. I don't see like glitter chunks, even though this is called like a shimmer blush, it just looks like a wash of like a satiny finish. Yeah, it definitely picks, packs a punch though. All right, maybe that's a little much. Let's blend it in, Jess. This sponge, by the way, is one I buy like six at a time on the Shop Miss A site. They're $1.50, they are the best sponge. I've tried so many different kinds, you guys. It is my favorite, I use it exclusively now. At this point, I think I've literally gotten rid of every other sponge, but these, you can buy like six packs of them for, you know, under 10 bucks. By the way, I do feel like with this primer, that 
CC cream is sitting nicely on top of it. I feel like looking at this in person, my nose looks smoother than it normally does, which is nice. So we'll do highlight in a minute and I've got another powder too, but some of my favorite e.l.f. eye products, I really dig their liquid cream shadows. Some that have more like glitter finish, like this one in Flirty Birdie, but they're all really pretty. I don't typically wear these alone. I, not that I have it ever, but typically I'll just, there's a color in this that I have that complements like an eye look I've done. I'll just take it off my finger and tap it on the lid. And that's pretty much exclusively how I use these. And these are definitely a dupe for the Stila liquid, like shimmering glows, glittering glows, it, like dead on you guys. I don't find that they crease terribly or anything. Like they're just nice. So we have Galaxy, Moon, and Little Dipper. And then that was the one in Flirty Birdie. I feel like one or two of these is like, hard to find, like you can't find them online anymore. Maybe you can find them in store. I also, of course, like most people today, if you haven't tried the bite-sized eyeshadow palettes, these are like, I think three or four bucks. They are incredible. My favorite, and this is more of a personal thing, is in Rose Water, because I like pinky tone shades. Very close second is Cream and Sugar. And then this one is a little newer to me in Pumpkin Pie. Again, so folly, isn't it? These are like, I can just use them for an entire eye look. It looks beautiful. They blend well. The shimmers are insane. But an oldie but a goodie. I've loved this for a couple years now. The e.l.f. New Classics palette. If you are someone that likes neutrals, this is one of my top, top favorites, most used palettes out of high-end drugstore and everything in between. I just love this. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. I can do so many different kinds of looks, but still staying within my comfort zone that I, you know what I mean? Um, I know what I like and that's what I do. I did purchase this Opposites Attract palette just because I was kind of intrigued by it. I'd seen a couple other YouTubers use it. And I liked that it had these really fun like purples, some peaches, this beautiful green. This definitely has a lot less shimmer than this one does. It's a lot more matte. So something to be aware of. I might dip into both of these. I wanna dip into, in the opposites attract, this shade in bold. It's, oh yeah, wow. It's deeper than I anticipated. But it has a slight shimmer finish. It's not like crazy glittery, but just slightly shimmery. Um, we're gonna use another like top five favorite e.l.f. products ever. This is the fluffy eye blender brush. I own like three of these and they're so good. They just blend like boom. Got one shadow on my eyelid and it blends it so easily that it looks like I tried harder than I really did. I feel like this Opposites Attract one is filled with a lot of shades. You could probably do like one eyeshadow looks with. I'm gonna grab in the cream and sugar palette just to kind of bounce around here, the super light shade and just tap it. I mean, it's insane tap it in the center and just see what it looks like. I think I blended it too much. It didn't have quite the effect. Yeah, it's not having quite the effect I wanted. I'm gonna use Saucy here to just kind of blend. It's a little bit like a camel-y tan. Definitely warm. And just for funsies, let's grab the glittery shade and Flirty Birdie and just tap a little on it. I like these kinds of glittery products because I feel like I can tap them on and I'm not worried about glitter fallout because they're in, you know, suspended within this kind of creamy liquid and yet you still get that fun glitter look to it. All right, I could talk about their eye stuff all day, but let's throw on a liner. I'm gonna use, this is new to me, the No Budge Precision Liner in Black. I'm really hoping that this does a good job like in the waterline, not transferring. And it looks like, yes it is, baby. Hourglass makes like the thinnest liner I've ever tried that I fell in love with, but it was so expensive. It was like $18 a pop and you, I would fly through it. So I'm really excited. This is gonna be great for like tight lining, darkening right between the lashes. So you can see how it really did darken that area. It seems to be pretty darn creamy. So I like it. This is probably another that's going straight in my makeup bag because this is the kind of liner I like to use. Um, it's just so easy. I love, I have another liner from Makeup by Mario, which is sold at Sephora, that I love, but it's more expensive and you have to sharpen it. So it's always nice to have something you don't have to sharpen. And hopefully this doesn't transfer as well. But I am gonna throw on top just to do a little wing. This, which is their H2O proof eyeliner pen. I feel like liquid liner from e.l.f. is something, I've never found one that I've just absolutely loved. A lot of the ones I've tried, I've been like, eh. I just always felt like underwhelmed by them. 
and they were better at like just from other drugstore brands. This one has a felt tip to it. Yeah, that is a nice black line. I have to say, I feel like I have a lot of control with where I'm putting this, which is really nice. That is one thing I prefer about felt tips. That's what I like about them, is that I feel like I can really control where I'm putting it. And it definitely feels really black. So really enjoying this one. I That was so easy to use. And then liner, this is a favorite. This is the first e.l.f. mascara I ever found that I was like, oh my gosh, like I love it. It's their Lash It Loud mascara, super volumizing. Holds a curl, it has a plasticky wand, which I actually don't love, but it's so good, you guys. I feel like it separates really well as well. So by the way, we watched Harry Met Sally for the first time ever last night. I know some of you guys are like, how have you never seen it? I have no idea. It's just one of those I'd always heard about and just never saw. That movie is perfect. It has incredible music. It goes through like all the seasons in New York City and they're walking through Central Park all the time or they're at like a beautiful New Year's party where everyone in the background singing Old Lang Syne. Like it has every element I love in like a romantic comedy. And again, it's like one of the original rom-coms. You know what I mean? It's so good. But the only part we were giggling at that, you know, obviously it's a movie and the way things work out anyway, it, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. But we were giggling in the scene where Meg Ryan's character is supposed to be like super upset and crying. It's so bad. We were like, she was so good in the rest of the movie, but that was like the worst fake cry acting I'd ever seen. And it wasn't like, you know, she, I think it was supposed to be kind of funny, but it just, I don't know, man. It was like awful to watch. But anyway, that movie was so good. I also like this mascara because I feel like it even after like one layer has dried, I'm able to go back in and kind of comb through it and add on a little bit more if I want that extra drama. Mm. So the highlighter is from their Beautifully Bare line. It's their liquid highlighter. I love a good like liquid highlighter. Ooh, this seems to have separated a bit. It looks really pretty. So without and with, definitely added a little glow. So I have to say, highlighters like this, I tend to like because you can see that I have a highlighter on, but you can't quite pinpoint. I feel like you can't see like a straight line. It looks like it's just like a wash of a nice, pretty, glowy highlight. There's not like strict glitter in it, but it has this kind of iridescent almost finish without being too over the top. That was really easy to apply. So it says it has vitamin E in it. Definitely has some kind of oil, I would say shake it up. But the nice thing about that is it makes it so that you only need the tiniest bit and it blends in so seamlessly. So I have their lip plumping gloss. I wanna try two different shades. I have praline, which looks really pretty. And then this more glittery one called champagne glam. So there's praline and then there's champagne glam. It really is more like a sheer peachy sort of. Let's try this one and then I'll probably wipe it off and put on praline, but kind of wanted to see what it looks like alone. I feel like this is going to be ideal for like a lip topper because it's going to add that nice sheen. Gosh, it also looks really nice just the way it is, you know? Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. It just kind of accentuates whatever your own lip color is, but starting to feel a little bit of a tingle, like the lip plumping. I like lip plumping glosses. That's like one of my favorite things. If you don't, this might not be the line for you. Put on praline. Definitely vampier. It's very much a fall like lippy. I can definitely see myself reaching for this a lot as the weather changes over in a few months um, because it's like the perfect fall shade. I don't feel like I need a lip liner with it. And again, it's got that kind of tingly feeling that I like. So I wanted to really quickly try out their sheer tint finishing powder. I am almost positive this might be a dupe for something. Let me try it first before I share what I think. Because my understanding is it really is supposed to just be a sheer bit of powder where it's not going to add a bunch of like coverage. It's just meant to kind of soak up a little bit of oil, mattify that area, and maybe help your makeup stay on a little bit longer. So I'm just doing it mostly in my T-zone. Looks a little bit blurred where I just put it. I feel like that looks nice. I'm in my PJs right now. Um, so 
wanted to check in really fastly. Nope. <laughs> quickly and yeah this makeup's been on for probably like 10 hours at this point I have to say the foundation looks so much better than I expected it to it had to have been the primer maybe the primer plus the powder in my t-zone because I it just looks so much better like on my nose and here than the CC cream normally does by this point in the night so that is great that eyeshadow and the glitter and everything looks great the only thing is the mascara did transfer a lot up to the top. That happens just randomly sometimes with like any mascara I use. I think it was probably there when I first got ready and I just didn't catch it, I don't know. Um, but I feel like the bronzer didn't stay long up here, but like I feel like here it stayed a little longer. I did sweat a little bit like up here, it's like 90 degrees out, so that could be a part of it. But I feel like the liner stayed really well, the mascara besides like getting up here when it was wet, I guess. Um, it held a curl really well. I love that mascara so much, but the liner, by the way, that pencil liner didn't transfer down at all to the lower water line. So if you're looking for something that doesn't transfer, I think that one just might work for you. I feel like the brows stayed really well in place and all in all, I mean, the blush looks good. The highlight, like everything looks pretty darn good. So yay. So that is everything. I feel like over the years I've tried way more than what I shared with you today from e.l.f., but as products go in and out of their product line, this is kind of what I've been messing with lately, but hopefully this helped you discover some new goodies from e.l.f., whether they're new in general, like the putty bronzers, or they're just ones that maybe are newer to you, you've never heard about or seen in the store or even thought about trying. Let me know if you enjoy this style of like full face brand type videos. I would love to do more of these, especially at the drugstore. So if you'd like to see that, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in a comment. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you join us. Like I said, we do a lot of makeup videos, a lot of drugstore focused things, but I also do vlogs and other kinds of lifestyle stuff here too. I'd love to have you join our little family. And thank you so much for watching all the way through and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.